Hi, and welcome to this PowerShell with Selenium tutorial series. Selenium is a web automation tool that you can use to like bot forms or uh, do some simple, like it's meant for testing websites, um, but a lot of people use it to like automate purchases or automate it filling out forms, clicking stuff for them. Uh, there's definitely a wide variety of things that you can do with Selenium. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to use it with PowerShell. So I have, haven't found a whole lot of stuff online about it. Um, a lot of them use the PowerShell Selenium module. Um, but in these uh, videos, we're actually going to be using the Selenium WebDriver DLL that you can download uh, from their website. Um, we're going to be using the C Sharp version. Um, so we're going to be going through that, and you're going to be able to make um, scripts that do this. So I'm just going to launch this one here, uh, which is just a very simple, it opens up Google Chrome, loads up the cookie clicker, and then just starts clicking away at the cookie. Um, and then you could stop the script at any time if you actually want to do stuff, because it kind of prevents you from doing anything else, really. Um, but that's pretty much it um and then you can do some other cool stuff like this here which i'm just gonna quit out of this quit out of this here and then we can actually have this form open up and this will open up a google chrome window and we can see that the form is uh, right down here. It, nothing's filled out. But then if I run these commands here, we can see that it gets filled out. So let me just zoom in for you guys just so you guys can see it. So it did fill it out. It filled out all these information. And this was all done um, via the Selenium module. Now this was using Selenium 4, which is in beta. I'll be going over the stable version of Selenium with Google Chrome, um, but you can definitely use um, the exact same scripts with Edge, um, Firefox. You'll just have to download the proper uh, driver for those browsers. I'll be showing you guys how to get the Chrome driver, but also showing you how to get the drivers um, based on the error messages that we can get from Selenium. So that's basically all we're going to be doing in this tutorial series. It's not going to be a very long series. Um, this first video, we're just going to go over how to download and set up our environment for Selenium. And then the next videos, um, we're just going to be going over like how to manipulate a web page, how to like navigate, um, use the developer tools in Chrome to figure out what to do. And then in the third video, I'm, we're going to be making a little script, just a very, very basic one. We're basically going to be remaking the cookie clicker game. Um, that clicks on the cookie, and then we can also fill out a form as well. So that's gonna be the plan. So to first start off, we need to download Selenium and download the Google Web Driver. So let me just close out of these here. And first, what we're gonna to wanna to do, uh, now that I'm zoomed in here, I actually have a folder here, um, Selenium tutorial, and then we're going to have a folder here. Now, you guys can name this whatever you want. Uh, this is just for me for the web, uh, web tutorials here. Um, I just have it PowerShell and then Selenium tutorial series, and this is where I basically show you guys how to set it up. So we are going to be wanting to work in here. Um, so we're going to be downloading a bunch of files, and we're going to be setting them up in here, as well as our PS1 script. Now, if you're completely new to PowerShell, I would definitely recommend to check out my PowerShell tutorial series. I'll be putting the link to those in the description. Those will be very handy for this tutorial because I won't really be explaining any of the PowerShell details. 
um, except for the stuff that we haven't seen in those tutorials, uh, like adding a type, which we'll be doing today. Um, so let's go ahead and let's download uh, some of our files that we need. So we first need to go to selenium.dev slash downloads. Now I'll be posting the links in the description for you guys, so no need to worry about that. Um, so we actually have the C sharp version here and there's a stable 3.14 and a beta 4.0. I've been using the beta lately, but we're going to be using stable uh, for these videos um, just for uh, the sake of hasn't really been updated in a long time. It definitely works. Um, and it's actually a little bit easier to use than 4. 4 has a little bit more of a complicated uh, find elements method. So let's go ahead and let's download this here. And uh, this is going to download. Perfect. All right, and then what we're going to want to do is as well as we're going to want to download the Chrome driver, which is the web driver for Chrome. Now you're going to have to know what version of Chrome you actually have, because these are four very specific versions. Now, if you don't know what version of Chrome you have, if you actually go ahead and open up your Chrome and then click on these uh, three little dots up here, and then settings, and then about Chrome here, you'll actually see your version right here. Mine is version 92.0.4515 and so on. So we're gonna be downloading this driver here and we are gonna be downloading it for Win32. Um, if you're using a Mac, download the Mac one. If you're using Linux, uh, download the Linux one, and I'm just going to zoom out here so you guys can actually see what I'm talking about. Uh, so just download the appropriate ones for your operating system. So let's go ahead and let's just download that here. All right, so we have those two files. So uh, let's go ahead and let's open up another window here. I'm just going to zoom in so you guys can actually see this here. So we have our two uh, zip files. So let's actually just unzip them. All right, so first we have this Chrome driver, which we're gonna go ahead and we are actually just gonna drag and drop that into our main script folder. So well, that's good. And then we have the Selenium. And we have a Selenium web driver, and it is a NUPKG file. So we're actually just going to copy that over into here. And we're going to have to open this up and get the actual web driver DLL out of it. Um, it's pretty easy to get. And I'm going to show you guys how to get it because it took me a little while to figure out. Um, but once you know how, it is very easy. So now that we have all of those, we are going to go ahead and we are going to open up a PowerShell window. Um, so let's go ahead and let's open up one of those. All right. And like I said, everything is going to be created in that folder. So let's go ahead and let's create it here. And we are just going to call it um, Selenium, just like that. That's not a problem. That should be good. All right. I'm just going to zoom in for you guys here so you guys can see what I'm actually doing. So we have all of our files here. We have our Chrome driver. We have our PowerShell script, and we have our um, NU package or Nugget package. So what we need to do is we need to get inside of this um, NuGet package here. So let's go ahead, and what I like to do is I like to shift right click on it, and then copy as path, and then I come into my PowerShell window here. And I actually do a rename item. 
And then the path, I put in the path here. And let me actually just make this bigger all together and hopefully not have to scroll for you guys. So there we have a rename item and then we have our path. And then what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna do a new name and we're gonna paste the same path, but at the end of the file name, we are gonna do a dot zip. And we are just gonna wanna highlight that and we are gonna run that. And what that does, it actually makes our Nugget package a zip file. So now if we double click on it, we can actually get into it if you go into lib and then net 4.5. And now we are actually just going to go ahead and copy this webdriver.dll into here. And that should be good, I believe. So now if we go back into our PowerShell window, you can erase everything you've typed in there because we won't need it for the actual script. So now that we have our PowerShell script, we have our Chrome driver, we have our PowerShell script, and we have our webdriver.dll. What we're going to want to do is we're going to want to create a variable called uh, script path. Now you don't need to do this. I like to do it just to keep it nice and clean. And it just kind of helps me really focus in on, on it. Um, so we're just going to select the path that all of our stuff is in. All right, so here we have our script path is equal to my path where all my stuff is. And then what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to do a add dash type and we are going to want to add a path and that path is going to be script path backslash web driver dot dll so let's see if we can run this here Now this will sometimes happen. If you guys get this error message, that usually means uh, that something else is probably going on. Uh, so what I actually like to do uh, when I got this message earlier is I actually rebooted my computer. So we're actually just gonna pause it right here. I'm gonna reboot the computer and then we are gonna see what happens. All right, we're back. And actually, one thing that I forgot to mention before you guys reboot your computer, actually, um, on the webdriver.dll, I already did it on the other one, so I just recopied a new one here. You're going to want to right click on it and then go into properties. You're just going to want to click unblock and then apply and then OK and then restart your computer. And that will fix the problems. So if we actually just open up the PowerShell file once again. We should see that it does work now. So there we are. And let's run this here. Perfect. So we are, we do have the web driver loaded here. So if I just make this a little bit bigger, and then all we need to do to open up a Chrome window is do a variable equal to Chrome. And then we're going to do a new object. And we are going to want to do a open qa.selenium.chrome.chrome driver. And then once we have that up here, you're going to see a command prompt window open. And you're going to have a Google window that will open. And it'll say Chrome is being controlled by automated test software, which that is Selenium working its magic. So there we are. And then just to show you guys that it is actually controlled by the script here, 
if we actually just go to um, chrome.navigate, go to URL, and we go to HTTP, oops, HTTPS backslash backslash google.com. And we go ahead and we launch that. We are now at Google. So this does uh, work. And the other browsers, if we try them, if we do a edge browser here and we do new object, open QA dot selenium dot edge in this case, and then edge driver, we will see that we should get an error. And the error message actually tells us exactly what we need to know, uh, which is new object exception calling the Microsoft web driver.exe file does not exist in the current directory or in a directory on the path environment variable. The driver can be downloaded at, and then it gives you the link to download the driver. So if you do this for Firefox, uh, for Edge, or for Chrome, if you don't have the drivers installed, it'll actually tell you exactly where to go get it. So that is awesome. I love that part. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for getting started with Selenium. We've downloaded um, the stable version of Selenium and have it set up. Don't forget to unblock that webdriver.dll, which I always seem to forget. Um, and then we can go ahead and create Chrome windows and we can actually quit out of them as well. So we do see that the windows here are still open. And if we just want to close out of them here, we can just do, I'm just going to keep it nice here and just do a chrome.quit here. And that will close them. So you're always going to want to make sure that you do this at the end, unless you kind of want to see what the browser window looks like. Um, I usually kind of omit this till the script is done. Uh, but that is it. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified when the next parts to this tutorial series uh, comes up. If you guys actually want me to script a specific website or something, just let me know down in the comments. I'll have to kind of look to see if I could actually do it legally on that website. Uh, for most of these websites, I'll just be using like little silly web games. Um, and websites that are actually designed to be used for Selenium tests, um, just to avoid any type of gray area. That is what I've decided to kind of do. Um, but if you guys have any ideas of like cool websites, or if you guys have a website that you guys would like me to play around with, uh, just let me know down in the comments and I will see you on the next video.